Hey guys, welcome to Break Vault. This is Mike and welcome to the top 10 mocks video where we show our favorite creations in Lego from the passing week in somewhat of a top 10 fashion, but honestly for you, number 10 might be better than number one. So there is no particular order. For those of you who have been with our channel for a while, you know that at the end of this episode, we used to show fan mocks in somewhat of a slideshow, but with the Jax idea, we actually switched the format. So the fan mocks is actually now a separate video. These will be coming out every Monday for a few weeks maybe we're gonna try out the new format so expect a video about the creations you guys sent in this Monday which is tomorrow as I'm publishing this video and before we get into those awesome creations for this week I want you guys to check out our web store at www.brickvault.toys uh, we have a superb collection of Battlestar Galactica mocks and the latest one that had the newest video is the Colonial Viper from David Duperon a UCS amazing build Jack did an awesome video about that one so I'm gonna leave it in the links below and your support through our web store keeps us going here at Brick Vault and also supports the designers that we work with like David to provide those amazing mocks. And the first mock for today's lineup is coming from W Navar, a really excellent builder. We love to feature his mocks a lot of the times. He's really excellent. And this is a micro take on one of my favorite sets from uh, two years ago, I think. That's, that's been a while. This is a micro Destiny's Bounty, the version from the Ninjago movie. An excellent display ship and we really love it here in the studio. And I think that he pretty much nailed the looks with the least used bricks possible. Awesome use for that 2x3 tile and a 2x2 tile with the Ninjago prints. Shaping for the hull of the boat is actually done very well with the fang pieces in the front and some curved elements alongside and quite ingenious use of the round pieces in the back make up for that housing element or the bridge element of the ship that used to be the biggest part of the model from the Ninjago movie. I always enjoy including a micro mock in our lineup for every week because as we agreed with Jack one day micro building seems to be the most challenging of all types of building in Lego to get things right. The next build is coming from Dwalin Forkbird. Now I I think this is a follow-up to the previous build of his, the M3 Invader. That was a space mechanical take on a thingy that is called the Bacteriophage, a thing that fights viruses in our real world in the, you know, small realm. The new one is the M11 Phage Heavy Transport and I think that might be a take on the virus of flu or some sort of that thing. I am not a biologist or a virologist, but I can definitely appreciate the great mechanical take on this, uh, well, not so loved creature on our planet. Anyhow, as you look at the Griblink, it's pretty awesome with a lot of uh, light bluish gray, like it usually goes with the Griblink for such ships. And the contrast goes in a green color for this one. The use of those container elements for the enclosure for the beautifully crafted DNA module is something that I enjoy about this mock the most. Absolutely superb build and I think that is somewhat of a next entry in the series of space mechanical virus builds which I thoroughly enjoy, so I hope he's gonna make more portraying different microbes from our planet. Next up, we have UC Koskinen and his build of the Soyuz Starship. To be specific, this is the Soyuz Fregat rocket, a Russian build that, if I remember correctly, was designed and built to uh, compete with the NASA Saturn V. As you can see on the comparison picture with the actual Saturn V Ideas model, the Soyuz is quite significantly bigger. These guys are built in the same scale and pretty much like with every piece of Russian engineering this thing is just enormous massive and possibly packs a lot of thrust Soyuz ships are flying to this day delivering cargo to space and most definitely the UC's model of the Soyuz rocket is giving this thing the grandeur feel it deserves. Great mock for this week's episode given the fact that the SpaceX models from the Ideas lineup for this review stage were unfortunately declined. For the next spot on the list we have the comeback of no one else but Moko. I think that's one of our favorite builders of mech and mechanical things all around. And the newest build from the designer is the exosuit, just a simple name. Full on black, looks very beefy as usual Moko's builds do on the outside when it's closed up. And the coolest part about it, like Moko has been uh, incorporating in his latest builds, is the opening function holding the pylon inside. I really like how the whole torso opens up, unveiling the minifigure inside, and it looks quite accurate to what we usually see in sci-fi movies featuring exosuits max uh, controlled by a pilot. I probably keep saying this a million times, but definitely check out Moko's uh, Flickr page if you're into robots and such because that might be the best resource 
of mech inspired lego builds right now available this next one is quite a simple build i was really fond of this week coming from thomas gion or gion i'm not sure how to pronounce his name this build consists of a 1970s chevrolet c10 pickup truck and a towed tiny house it does look simple you can admit that but i do enjoy the simple takes on cars like that and the lines are pretty awesome on this one with the lack of uh, studs entirely but most things actually go into that tiny house which opens up and provides you with some very nifty interior i am surprised how much he was able to fit in there there's this staircase even a dining area or some breakfast table there's even a sleeping quarter near the rooftop and pretty much everything you need to live on the road I do really appreciate the thinking process that went into this build, because fitting so many things in such a small compact model is definitely not an easy task. Switching up scales a bit, uh, actually entirely, this one is coming from Anio Mylon, and what we have here is the UCS Race Speeder from The Force Awakens. I think I've seen a fair share of the Race Speeders, this was one of the most recognizable vehicles from the first movie of the Resurrection of Star Wars, and my assumption is that this one should scale quite well with the actual Ray, uh, brick built Star Wars big fig. Anio Mylon is uh, quite a veteran in UCS builds, and I think the Speeder is one of the best looking ones from this designer he does however mention that some of the bricks are painted in the set to match the color better and he's waiting for them to be actually produced so that is a bit of a bummer but still the shape and the detailing is quite perfect there is the net for all that salvaged metal by ray her stuff is also visible and i really like the way he built the driver's area with the use of castle windows for the pedals quite an excellent display piece in my opinion marius herman is also a builder that we know quite well thanks to his uh, horizon zero dawn builds and the newest one that he added in celebration of visiting the actual Guerrilla Games uh, HQ, the makers of the game, is a beautifully looking Watcher, one of the main creatures and most um, met ones in the game. I like how possible that Watcher is given its mini scale, but don't get me wrong, I think this one scales quite well with his other Horizon Zero Dawn builds. This was generally a small creature, mostly of a scout type, and that was his task most of the time you met him in the game. And I think the best part about this build is the shape of the tailed body. I think he used a combination of arms and flexi tubes to get that shape right. And I also like the simple build for the head using what seems to be uh, Technic or Bionicle pieces. I honestly couldn't think of better pieces to be used here to get that desired look. Make sure to check out his Flickr page for his other Horizon Zero Dawn builds if you like the game. I think these are absolutely excellent. Tim Goddard is also back with a new build, also a designer that happens to appear in our mock videos quite often. And from him today I have another excellent micro build, this time more sci-fi, this is titled the Perihelion Point. What seems to be a type of a space station, it all gives me that homeworldy feel. If you do not know what homeworld is, that was a very well acclaimed RTS game that I played a lot. It was all about space exploration, space battles with beautiful graphics, and the ships from that game kind of resembled what we see here on the screen. I like some details here, the shaping overall is very cool. There is some sort of an octan tanker in one of the hangar bays. I do like the build for that cargo ship or the frigate that is docked in the lower level. And this shot with the Photoshop effects looks actually pretty cool with that space station in the foreground. And the last build I want to mention today is coming from no one else but the JK Brickworks Jason Aleman, mostly known as the designer of two idea sets at this point, the pop-up book and the maze. And previously he did take on a Forma set, the new Lego Forma with that movable fish thingy, designed his own with a more brick build uh, feature rather than the plastic molds that Lego is using in the official set. And this time around he went a step further taking the Creator 31088 Deep Sea Creatures set and animating that shark from the set with his very own design for the mechanism. That pretty much solidifies him as one of the greatest uh, kinetic sculpture designers that I know so far, because the mechanism looks so simple yet so genius and makes the shark move so smoothly that I think it's better than anything I've seen from the official LEGO sets so far. Another astonishing thing from Jason, I'm gonna link his full video below, so make sure to go check it out, leave him a like and subscribe to his channel, because the videos he makes pretty much deserve all the praise in the world. And that's gonna be it for this week's episode, pretty much like every week I had more mocks to go 
walkthrough that I really wanted to talk about. So I'm gonna link everything that I found cool this week. Right below there were some February builds because it's February so people are building different types of rovers. Plus there was a ton of designers that put out some amazing stuff and make sure to check out all the links in the extras below as well. As I mentioned before there are no fan mocks at the end for these episodes right now so there's gonna be a separate episode tomorrow on Monday and every Monday pretty much and Jack will be browsing through your mocks and talking about them and showing you some love because you guys sent some amazing stuff. Submissions for fan mocks are still open there is all the info below in the description and again thank you so much for watching it was Mike and I'll see you next time on Brick Vault.